Hey everybody, it's Ken here. We're doing another lantern video. And yeah, we're down in the bunker. It's actually Saturday. The video is going to go up tomorrow on a Sunday, but we had a pretty good snowstorm here today. And uh, I guess we got about six, seven inches out there. So uh, yeah, it's pretty nasty out there and cold in the workshop. Haven't really been doing much in the workshop these days. However, I did get a new addition again, and I'm going to show you. I was going to do an unboxing, but I don't know. Lately, I've been watching some of these unboxings on YouTube, and, you know, I hate to see somebody just open a box, you know. Unless it's something that you're going to buy, like maybe a limited edition collectible or something, and you want to see how they're they're made and packaged. But for, you know, a one-of-a-kind thing, a used item, it just doesn't work, you know. Let's just get right to it. But I'm really excited about this. How about that? It was a quick unboxing. But my first of its kind. I've been trying to get one of these for some time. And uh, yeah, they're quite expensive. And I, I always have my eye on them. But unfortunately, they always seem to be from overseas. And uh, in fact, that's what I kind of call them. I don't even know really if they have an official name. Uh, I call them the Overseas Hot Blast Lanterns. I know they make them in several several manufacturers. I know there's some French manufacturers, some German, some Soviet. Uh, you see them a lot of times, you know, from Ukraine, Estonia, Bulgaria, so forth, France, Germany. But I happened to come across one on eBay, believe it or not, for the most part. And I got a really good deal, what I think. Uh, I just happened to be thumbing through eBay and rolled through the page and it was two minutes plus on this and no bids. And starting bid of 20 bucks, I, I threw in a bid and waited it out, and I got it. The shipping was a little, a little more than you know probably should have been, but hey, you know, got to make money too, you know. So, but anyway, here it is, the uh, the hot blast overseas lantern, as I call it. it doesn't actually have a a name. Um, it's got some kind of a. Well, we'll give you we'll give you a close up. Uh, shot of that at the end there or or if we can probably maybe even just get it within the ca I don't know what it is it's kind of like a bird or a uh, some some kind of bird it looks like but uh, it's 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 tough to even see I don't know if it's coming out on camera but believe me it's tough to even see or actually believe it or not the more that I'm looking at it now in the shadow here I think it's a bat I think this is a bat. Also, I'll be darned. I just got I just got a different view of this in the in the shadow of the light here on the angle. I didn't look on the angle. Sometimes that's the key to key to looking at these things is you look on an angle. And you know what? I'm I'm now I'm thinking that this is a bat. This is this is probably a German. This is probably another bat. Happened that I just happened to discover that live on camera. But anyway, here it is. It's really cool. And is in pretty good shape. I guess it's original, original paint, but I'm not planning to do a thing with it. I'm just going to keep it, keep it in my collection. It does have a special thing on it though. If you can get that on camera, the thing that really turned me on about this lantern, you see that? You see that number on the back? 67. Yeah, now that 67 is kind of a special number for me. I don't tend to give my age away, but it's my birth year. So go figure that out. Do the math. Everybody's going to do the math on that one. Don't be too hard on me, but <laughs> but it, when I saw that, no bids down to the, this. This was made for me, folks. And uh, yeah, there's no fuel in it. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut away. I'm gonna fuel this thing up, and I'm gonna light it for the first time. So yeah, hasn't been lit. I don't know what, what it's going to look like, what it's going to perform like, but it's got a brand new wick in it, and it seems to roll just fine. It's got a nice tight fitting cap, clean, everything's clean on the inside. So what I'll do is I'm going to cut away, fill it up, wait a few minutes, and come back, and we'll do a, we'll do a light up and see what it does. Okay, so here we are. We're back. Uh, I got her fueled up. It's been soaking about 10 or 15 minutes. And I uh, also just happened to realize it's the wrong wick. It looks like somebody put like a, a 7 8 wick in there and just 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 cut it because there was some fibers on there. And it's not real even, but 
I think it'll work for now. Uh, it's not too bad. So why don't we just give it a quick light up here. It was a little uh, squeaky, so I put a little little oil on there too. And there it goes. And it's kind of high. Yeah, pretty high. Wow. Okay. So we'll see how the trim the trim looks. And yeah, okay. It'll probably do. It's not so bad. Why don't I spin that around? Give you a shot straight on there with the flame. Yeah, it doesn't look doesn't look too bad actually. Let me, let me get her just kind of sensitive. It's kind of kind of uh, got a nice. Well, I don't know if it's nice or not, but it's a pretty sensitive adjustment for the wick. But yeah, I mean there it is. It looks like it looks like a typical hot blast lantern, kind of orangey flame glow there, but uh, but nice. Be that as it may. Um, why don't we uh, let's see what it does in the dark. Why don't we uh, turn the lights out and see what it does in the dark? All right, so here we go. We got the lights out. And we got her still going here. Looks like I need just a little bit more of adjustment here now because as it's warming up. But let's see. I don't know if you can see me lighting up on camera, but yeah, it's kind of typical of you know, it's it's a nice uh, warming warming light. Not bad. I like it. Like it a lot. And like I said, it, it maybe when I get the right wick in here, it's it's. I'm not sure what the size is, but I have plenty of wicks in stock, so maybe that'll that'll probably even force force the the flame to be a little wider. Because like I said, I just happened to notice after the fact that it it wasn't it wasn't right. But it's it's not too bad. It's not horrible, and it's a pretty good functioning lantern. So with that, maybe we'll do a little outside extra as we go. And uh, everybody have a good one, take care, and we'll see you real soon in another Lantern video. Bye-bye.